I bought a damaged Dark Magician tin from 2003, and today we're opening it up. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video, and as you guys just saw, I bought a pretty beat up 2003 Dark Magician tin, and I figured the only thing you can really do with something like this is open it of course i mean obviously they're not gonna keep it sealed i mean come on plus the damage you know it's just really asking to be open so i thought that'd be a lot of fun but first we have a giveaway i'll be giving away these three classic lob super rares all you have to do is like this video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know what you want to see out of this tin can we have a nice promo i think with it in this condition there's almost a zero percent chance that's a nice dark magician but we'll see all right we're gonna open this tin up and then we're actually gonna sprinkle in a few dark crisis packs as well reprint packs so i think this will be fun let's see if our promo can be in nice condition let's go dark magician come on if this was a minty promo this would be really awesome even just like a near mint promo i'd be happy let's go i mean the chances i think are pretty pretty tiny i'm guessing like <laughs> mod play at least all right so we have uh, our packs inside we have oh i didn't see that on the left i was like oh my goodness this is amazing but there's a little bit of scuffing right there you guys can see okay a little bit off centered this card's actually pretty nice you guys look at this thing Wow, it's not like bent or anything that I can tell at least. This card appears to actually be pretty good, like maybe even like lightly played or something like that with that scuffing, but still, that's not bad at all compared to what we normally see out of 2003. I'm pretty happy with that, especially with how bad the like, condition of the actual tin was. That's really, really cool. All right, so we have our five packs here of LOB through LON, all five packs there, but we also have our Dark Crisis packs as well. So let's start off with one of those because this is a reprint from 2017, so a much newer pack compared to these other ones here we go we have a dark magician 10 opening today we have death rook archfiend very nice battle scarred very nice vile pawn archfiend the oh we got a ruxin special i didn't even notice i did it at first mustering of dark scorpions the kelbeck arsenal summoner pretty cool the frozen soul sukuyomi that's a very good rare good start and can we get a nice foil as well no, just an acrobat monkey. Okay, but Tsukiyomi's still like a $4 rare, I think, so that's still pretty good. Uh, I guess we'll do like a Labyrinth of Nightmare. We'll just alternate like this. We have an original print here. What do we want to see from here? We've opened a lot of 2003 10s recently. We haven't opened a 2002 10 in a while. That'd be pretty fun, but those are like insanely expensive, like a very, very expensive these days. Let's see if we can pull something. 2003 10, what do we want? We have a Dark Necrofear, Masked Beast. It'd be really cool to pull like no Gemini in this one, so Magic Cylinder would be nice. Fairy Guardian, let's go. Let's see if we Revival Jam would be good offerings to the doom we got melkid the four face beast this monster has four different masks for four different attacks interesting he's all mask man okay the boneheimer pretty cool spirit elimination all right we're gonna eliminate those spirits skull lair we've got the hysteric fairy cyclone laser is it up next we have a card of safe return a very strong card back in the day and i think it got banned for a while because it's just a little bit too good a little bit of scuffing going on in the back there but still pretty nice condition card of safe return that's an ultra rare so that's really really nice way to start these you know 10 opening because usually can go like over five so pretty good all right next up we have the dark crisis let's go can we pull another good card so we can pull skill drain in here we haven't pulled it in a while actually it's just a rare so maybe we can get one spirit from the dark we've got mustering of dark scorpions oh rux and special again contract with exodia final attack orders the sakuretsu armor very nice iron blacksmith kotetsu pretty nice as well precious cards from beyond and okay it's just a rare next i think guardian bow okay pretty cool and pandemonium very nice just a regular old rare though unfortunately next pack we have a pharaoh's servant unlimited let's see what we can do can we pull what do we want buster blader legendary fisherman mm, why am i blanking i mean obviously genzo but i don't you can't get it out of a 10 pack so i don't think it's in here we got nobleman of cross out's a good one let's see we have harpy's brother the Reign of Mercy, very nice. The Type Zero Magic Crusher. Will the Damage Dark Magician 10 pay off for us? Inspection, it was still pretty expensive to be honest. Middle Detector, we got the Flying Kamikiri Numero Dos. Three-headed Guido. The Infinite Dismissal. And we have a Magical Hats. Super rare. We are now two for two on this tin. What a start. We have a Magical Hats. Very nice, super rare. That is pretty sick, actually. 
We will take that magical hat, looking good. Pharaoh's servant, honestly, I'm two for two. You don't see that very often out of here. So far, no foils out of Dark Crisis, but these are the reprints, so no big deal. But can we get a skill drain rare? That would be pretty cool. We got the final countdown. That's a good one. But -na -na. We got the Exodia, final attack orders. Thousand Needles. We've got a Frozen Soul, another nice one. Acrobat Monkey. Battle Footballer. He's battling, he's footballing. Guardian Trice, a nice one as well. And... A Shinato's art. Can we could pull a Shinato? That would be really cool. One of my favorite cards out of Dark Crisis as well. So far, we are two for two out of this 10. Is this damage 10? Absolutely insane. Can we pull another foil? I mean, we want Relinquish. We want a lot of those spell cards in there. There's a lot of good ones. We've got a Magical Labyrinth. Yet again, the MRL with spell card. Very cool out of the 10s. Dark Zebra. The Rising Air Current. He's rising. Red Archery Girl. Darkness Approaches. The Koto Dama, very nice. Octo Burser with the head of a fit with the head with the head of a fish and the legs of an octopus. This strange creature attacks the enemies by flinging spears. Attacks enemies by flinging spears. Interesting. We've got a hungry bird. Why does he not have flavor text? I know he's a ritual, but he should have flavor text. It'd be awesome. Then we have a shining angel. Okay, our first non-foil out of there. Still pretty nice. Shining angel's not bad. Four packs to go. We've got a dark crisis. Let's see if we can pull something epic. So far, dark crisis has been very quiet. Let's see if we can turn it around. We have morale boost. Despair from the dark. Battle scarred. Very good. Arsenal robber. Gekku Gyre Panda. Just had a burp. Outstanding dog Marin. Kelbeck, maybe that's a good sign. We have the Skill Drain. It is a good sign. Skill Drain, rare. Might be the most expensive card we've pulled yet, even though we've pulled foils and stuff. Let's see what else. Oh, just a regular common, but that's okay. Skill Drain is insane. That's a really, really nice pull. I think it's still over 10 bucks, even with the reprints like coming out recently. All right, that's a nice one. Skill Drain, very, very good. Now we're going to Metal Raiders. This is not a fat pack. This guy's been on, you know, a weight loss diet over here. You know, no body shaming, of course, but uh, Metal Raiders, baby. Let's go. Can we get a Picanio? That would be insane. I mean, there's so many good ultras and just regular commons, rares. Every card in the set almost is cool. Mr. Corseman, a classic uh, anime card. Share the Pain. Okay, maybe not as iconic, but actually not a bad card. The Illusionist Faceless Mage used by Pegasus in like the third episode. Cybersaurus. I don't remember if this was used, but I, I really remember this one for some reason because of the artwork, I think. Sagi, the Dark Clown, also used by Kaiba in the first episode, I think. Pale Beast. There I am. I made it into the video. Very nice. The Empress Juju. Very good. Soul Release, another classic, and here we go. We have a Barrel Dragon. We have pulled a lot of these recently. We pulled one out of, uh, I think it was those 2010 reprints recently. I had like, never really pulled this card very often, so this is pretty cool to see. Barrel Dragon Ultra, so we're now three for four with a Barrel Dragon. We also pulled Skill Drain out of Dark Crisis. Oh my goodness, two Ultra Rares in this video. This has been a nice 10 so far. All right, two packs to go. This has turned out to be a pretty awesome opening. This is looking pretty nice. We have Dark Crisis. Final pack, still no foil, but we have pulled Skill Drain and Tsukiyomi, probably the best two rares in the set. Can't we just pull a foil to end it off? Let's go with Shinada. Let's go with uh, Exodia Necros, something like that. Whew, Sasuke Samurai Numero Dos, Twin Swords of Flashing Light Trice. We've got Mustering of the Dark Scorpions. Altar for Tribute, very nice. Ojama Trio, there they are, the trio of Ojamas. Checkmate, they're playing some chess, very nice. Dark Scorpion, check the yellow. Wait, I, I like how Ojama Trio didn't. I don't even think Ojama Black had come out yet when this came out. I don't, maybe some of those hadn't either, but that's pretty funny, maybe it was yellow. Okay, Dark Scorpion, check, no, a Black might be in this set. Oh, another skill drain! Back-to-back -back skill drains, that's insane! Okay, and what's last? Ooh, a Dark Flare Knight! So we got a skill drain and a super rare Dark Flare Knight. This has turned out to be a really good opening today. Wow, that is insane. Double skill drain out of only five packs. I mean, that's a rare. Getting like more than one rare or even one at all is not even that common. That's why it's called a rare. All right, on to the Blue Eyes White Dragon pack. This has been a great opening. Can we end it with something crazy? We are three for four on the 10. Not bad at all. I want to pull blue eyes. Come on, guys. Let's do it. Can we get Dark Magician as well? Red eyes? I mean, maybe not as well. Maybe unless it's an error pack. I'd take that. But let's see. Kumutoko. Nice. We got the forest with a beautiful green color and the originals. Skull Servant. A skeletal ghost that isn't strong, but can mean trouble in large numbers. And that he, he is trouble in large numbers for sure. Green Phantom King. All right. Nice. Trip Wire Beast. Final pack magic. Will it happen here? Skull Red Bird. Very nice. 
Missouri Zame. Oh, it's an original pack. Missouri Zame. You know what's coming next. Yame. Missouri Zame. Yame. Let's go. All right. It's next. It might be one more after that. Oh, wait. No, it's next. A trap hole super rare. So we're going to end it two for, not two for four, four for five. Two supers, two ultras, four for five, two skill drains, plus a super rare out of the dark crisis. Talk about an awesome old school 10 opening. You don't see that very often. That was an awesome opening. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this because at 150,000 subscribers, we're opening every single pack ever made, including all first editions if possible, which is going to be amazing. Shout out to Choice333, Nightshade Gaming YT, Hayden Jameson, Squirtle, Hoppus, Flexi Boy, Dizzy, Ernesto Deanda, Puffins of Doom, TCG Trusted Cards, JT Cho, Tomato Juice, Daxter, Tonefo Show, and then as High Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Seth Fisher, Stanley, Thomas McLean, and Tone Z. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.